Hello. Do you like my subpar braid? I'm hiding it with a, or distracting you from it with some flowers because it's beautiful outside and it's the art of misdirection, you know, whatever. Okay, so it's day seven of Veda and it's so gorgeous that I had to come sit outside on my front porch. Just, you know, I'm already late for work, whatever. I'll film something before I go in. So, uh, the other day I asked on Twitter uh, what I should film about because I had no ideas in 30 days of this month. So I needed some, you know, ideas from the Twitterverse. Uh, and my friend Kayla came up with a few ideas. And one of them that she wanted to hear about was the authors that I've met. Uh, and in my line of work, I get to meet a lot of authors and... I also just seek them out on my own anyways, because they're my rock stars. I don't know if you know this or if you agree. I'm pretty sure you do. So uh, I've met so many that I think that it would be way too long for just one video. So I'm going to do a couple videos about meeting different authors that I love. And today, the first one, I thought it would do my near misses. So authors that I didn't get to meet for whatever reason. So the first one, I'll do the saddest one first. Um, Ray Bradbury is one of my favorite writers of all time. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it on here before, but when I read Fahrenheit 451 for the first time in like the seventh grade, I, it like changed the way I thought about everything. I just tell people it changed my brain. So it's his work is really, it was life changing for me. So in um, 2012, I was really, really excited because I was going to get to go to San Diego Comic-Con for the first time. I was going as a professional, so I got to go for free. I was going to be on a panel uh, talking about graphic novels and comic books for the Maverick Committee. And uh, um, my friend Tuan, who I was going with, who's on the committee with me, his brother-in-law is Ray Bradbury's biographer. So... Uh, that was going to be really exciting to meet him. And Ray Bradbury had been to every single Comic-Con since its inception. And he's like one of the biggest celebrities and he's there every year and he's just a staple. So the year before when my friends Tuan and Alicia had went, had gone to Comic-Con, they got to hang out backstage with Ray Bradbury. And I was beside myself. I was so excited that I was going to meet my hero. And I didn't know what I was going to do, if I was going to cry, if I was going to freak out, fall on the ground, whatever. I knew it would not be pretty. So, you know, I was looking forward to that. And then one day, I think in mid-March, uh, yeah, I have to look up the exact date, but I don't really want to. I was sitting at my computer at work and my coworker Keith messaged me and said, I'm so sorry about Ray Bradbury. And I stopped and I checked Twitter um, and I Googled him really quick and Ray Bradbury had died. So it was just a couple months shy of my getting to meet him. And I just kind of sat in a computer in the back for several hours a day and was not inconsolable. I wasn't like sobbing, but I cried several times and my my boss had no idea what was wrong with me. I mean, I told her, but she still was, I don't know. She didn't really understand. Uh, so yeah, that's the story of how I almost met Ray Bradbury, but not quite. I did get to hang out with uh, Tuan's brother-in-law and talk to him about it and um, about Ray and hear, heard stories and stuff. And there was a really great memorial service uh, that Margaret Atwood read at and Joe Hill and a bunch of other things and they showed a lot of uh, Ray Bradbury's work and stuff and there were some uh, yeah some celebrities who showed up that I got to see while they were there like Mae Whitman was there she just she was there afterward dressed as Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz um, so yeah that was really sad so I didn't get to meet Ray Bradbury Okay, but another author who I haven't gotten to, I've seen several times, but I haven't gotten to interact with one-on-one -on -one, uh, is Lori House Anderson, who wrote Speak and Winter Girls and um, The Knife, Knife of Memory. And she's awesome. I've heard her talk several times and she's glorious. She's amazing. She uh, came to Teen Book Con two years ago, three years ago. 
two or three years ago, and she was the opening keynote speaker, and I brought a bunch of my kids to, to Team Bacon, and we were really excited to see her. And right before her talk, I had to go to the restroom, so I left to go to the bathroom, and when I got back, my kids, who were sitting in the front rows of the auditorium, are yelling, Stee, 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 get down here, get down here, and so I kind of run down the stairs, and they'd been sitting in the front row, and they tweeted about, they'd like taken a picture of Lori Hal Sanderson, who was walking back and forth on the stage, and they tweeted at her that they'd seen her, and they were really excited to hear her talk, and then... While after they sent the tweet, they kind of looked up and were like, Lori, check your Twitter. Just whispering. They're kind of shy. They didn't really actually think she would pay attention to them. And she heard them and she said, what? And she walked over and she jumped down off the stage and she started talking to them. And one of my teens has a picture of her talking with the rest of them. And I missed it. I was in the bathroom. I have a small bladder and I had to pee. So I missed it. But I... At that point, I mean, in that instance, I didn't care because I was there for the kids and the kids got to meet her. And that's that was so exciting to see them really excited about it. And yeah, I loved that. But then at TLA, a couple weeks later, I uh, I was on a panel and I got a little gift for being on the panel. And it was um, a, a little postcard that has like the card catalog information for uh, Speak. And uh, I didn't get to go get in line because I had to be at another panel, but Karen got in line to get Lori's uh, autograph, um, get a signed copy of a book. And I said, hey, will you get this card signed for me? I would love that. Just tell her that I love her. And she's like, okay, fine, I can do that. So she took it and she told Lori, hey, Lori, this is for my friend Christina. She says she loves you. So... She wrote back when she signed it, she wrote, I love you too, Stee. So, I didn't get to meet her, but I have her signature and she loves me. That's so nice to know. Okay, so those are my, ooh, <laughs> those are my near misses for meeting authors that I love. I can't change not meeting Ray Bradbury, but I mean, I could still definitely meet and talk to Laura Hale Sanderson one day. So it's not all bad. All right, I will definitely be doing another one of these, probably several, so I can talk about other authors that I've met and freaked out about or kept my cool around. <laughs> Let's be serious, that doesn't happen. And yeah, so that's it for me for day, whatever, seven of VEDA. All right, make sure you do all those nice things you can do on YouTube, like this video, uh, comment below if you've had a near miss with an author that you love, uh, if you're crying with me over missing Ray Bradbury, rest in peace. Um, and yeah, if you have any other ideas for things that I should talk about, I can talk for days, but I need some topics. Okay, uh, yeah, subscribe, share this where you share videos, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.